Yes, sir. Not allowed. Not allowed. On behalf of my party here, sir, I hate to admit this on the floor of the house that I do stand in dilemma regarding this bill. I am somebody who is a mother of a teenager. I have a 16 year old in my house and a 13 year old who are two opposite personalities. For several years I have worked in education so I have dealt with a lot of children. The overall bill is very positive. What she has done for adoption, I must compliment the ministry for the intervention they have done because my family has adopted two children and I see the pain that the mother goes through when she can't conceive and then the trauma of getting a child and you can't bring the child home. So all the measures that the ministry has taken are very welcome. But where I stand, sir, in my dilemma is whether 16 is good, 18 is good. I know this entire story of 16 and 18. We've been through this three years ago when UPA was in power and all of us again went through this whole thing that should it be there and then the entire program, at that time the policy was put on hold. So I would like her to explain to us because there are critics also of this bill who have over a period of time worked with children, have reservations of making 18 into 16. So in her reply, if she could kindly address them, it would be much appreciated. I personally feel that I for years have lived in a city of Bombay. Mumbai is a city which is very vibrant, which has a lot of child trafficking, child labor and a lot of serious issues with regarding children. But an intervention which Mumbai city made with the help of Mumbai police, there's an NGO called Angan and together between Angan and uh, the Mumbai police, they made exceptionally good shelters where child the crime rate, which is anyway not very high in Mumbai, but there is even if it's 0.1 percent, I think it's bad. Because children are not supposed to do this. Children need to be protected and that's the whole idea of this bill. That is about care and protection. So these shelters have made a great intervention. Crime has gone down. Children are in proper homes. But that is one isolated example of success. What we really need to do is run this pan India. And again, it's the point which Tathagat Satpati made. I do associate with what he said, that one nearby case is the reason we are making these laws. Laws can't be made, sir, by emotions. When you are a mother of the daughter, then you feel every rape, the person must be hung, that's what every mother feels. Even I feel that way as a mother, but I'm not just here standing as a mother, I'm a policy maker here. And then when you're the mother of the son, then you say, my son made a mistake, he should be forgiven, he should be a given chance. We can't have gender differences. So I would definitely like her to introspect, see it. I appreciate her dividing it into three, where there's heinous crime to be treated differently, but still there is, there are a lot of people who have worked in this field, who have research, who are probably critics of this, who, have, who feel that because of the commitments that we have made internationally, so should we think that's one uh, clarification required. There's another one, sir, where Article 15 in the Constitution talks about protecting all our children. Now, our children below 18 children, because for every mother, her child, even if he's 40 years old, is a child. So I do understand it's not a realistic thing. But a 16-year-old to 18-year-old, so it's a very small and a very tender gap. Kids sometimes do not do things because they want to do things. They are under pressure. And no ch and the mother gives birth to a criminal. She only gives it to a child with circumstances because most cases, if you go back to data, even the Nirbhaya case, I'm not defending that boy who did it who's 17 years old today, but he was on the streets of Delhi at the age of 11. He had no family. So most of these cases where these children are going through these issues are not just poverty or children from broken homes or are orphans. So that's something we really need to look in the larger picture. So these are also issues which very seriously because this is a very serious bill. It's going to have a social impact of a lot of people to come and generations to come. So I think we really need to think whether 16, 18 or there are children at 15. So are we going to lower it further? What is going to be the benchmark? If the minister could kindly clarify what is our roadmap for the future, we would definitely like to hear that from her. There is another thought, sir, is what the Verma committee report has said, the parliamentary standing committee has reported. What I said, and there are two cases at the Supreme Court. One is in 2013, the Salil Bali case, and the 2014 Dr. Swami case. All the time, all, in all these four cases, they have said do not reduce the case. So, why are these four expert committees saying it should remain at 18? And why does the ministry today feel no, it should be brought down to 16? I think this really needs to be discussed. And these are some gray areas that's where I find my own dilemma. In. And this place of safety. Place of safety is something that, sir, we really need to look into because a lot of times, even from the state I represent, we have a lot of homes and shelters, but the basic abuse of children and young boys really starts in these shelters. 
there could be somebody who runs it abuses these children so we have to look look at this care and protection from both sides it's not just the child creating the crime but it is even the child who has to suffer this crime which he has to go through so i think there are and there are very good preventive measures if the honorable minister could talk about she said there uh, is uh, madam uh, no, just a, just a yeah, minute sure. now 6 o'clock uh, that the house agrees to extend sir sir you extend it please please extend it by one more hour let us continue the discussion pardon extend it one more hour one more. continue the discussion mm -hmm. and then see what can be done what do you mean what is your problem revive